Hey guys, this is Brett Robbins from Birdie Speed Shop. This ProTech video is a fast breakdown on what is involved to change a timing chain and head gaskets on a 3.6 V6 GM high feature engine and also some tips before you get started with the repairs. Alright guys, here's the 3.6 strip down. Got the heads off, timing cover off, timing chain is off, the guides are off, the exhaust manifolds are off, the power steering will have to be uh, set off to the side, the power steering pulley will have to be pressed off. I'll show you guys the special tool for that a little later. The alternator is removed, that's off to the side there. Um, what happened was, this vehicle came to us with an overheating issue. Coolant was leaking from the back corner from a failed head gasket. It's pretty common on these engines, but you know, I don't see it all the time. Um, another common problem is the P0008 code. Uh, there's a you know mechanical variation in the timing, so that throws a code. The most likely the issue with that is a stretch timing chain. If you guys have bent valves on this engine, you're going to want to change the cam phasers. Uh, it's not worth taking a chance reusing them. They generally don't fail, so if you don't have any issues like that, then there's no need in changing them. I'm going to go over some special tools with you guys and show you uh, some tips on the removal process. You know, as you can see, the engine can stay in the car on this one, and you can remove the heads uh, with the uh, engine remaining in there. Also, the oil filter housing also remains in the vehicle. You don't have to remove that. All right, let's go over some details. All right, going over special tools. On the harmonic balancer, you're going to have to remove this. You can see those little gaps in here. They're very thin, and you're going to need a puller that has very skinny fingers. They do make a specific puller. You can get one on Amazon. It's under $100. Or, you know, if you have a, a three-jaw puller that looks like this one, um, this one actually would not work because the fingers are too fat, as you can see, and it, it won't fit in the back of those pockets. And when you try to remove it, the teeth will just keep slipping off. So you can come up with something on your own. You know, some guys were uh, to get buying them from Harbor Freight and then grinding down the fingers to make them fit you know if that works for you uh, that's perfectly fine you know whatever it takes for you to get that off and not damage anything no problem all right as far as the power steering pulley goes um, you're going to need a special tool to remove the pulley uh, this is a very simple tool uh, pretty reasonable on uh, price uh, it just goes on here like this and the uh, puller goes inside here you tighten up the nut and it'll slowly pull off the uh, power steering pulley for you and that way you can unbolt it from the vehicle and then just you know put it off to the side. Here are the cam holding tools. These will hold the camshaft in place while you're setting the timing. Um, I'm going to link a great video for you guys. Chloe's makes a great video and they discuss on how to install the timing chain in the process. It is a lot easier than you think. The hard part is just taking this thing apart and getting the heads out of the car. That's, that's pretty much it and then putting it back together. Um, you're going to just want to, you know, have a lot of patience, but, you know, you'll get it done. Going over parts and part quality here, this is a torque to yield bolt. It's one of the head bolts. You're going to want to replace both sides of those head bolts. They're uh, torque to yield, so what that means is when the bolt's installed, they stretch. It holds at a specific torque. You know, they work very well, but they're only designed to work once. Uh, once they're installed... That's it. You remove them, they're junk. You can throw them right in the garbage. You got to get a new set of head bolts. If you don't, when you go to torque the heads down, they will not torque down properly. And there's also nightmares of them snapping off. So you don't want to get these heads on and you get down to that last head bolt because you know it'll be the last one and then it'll snap and you're stuck doing the job over again. And nobody wants that. All right. And then this head gasket here, this is a Felpro gasket. It's a replacement gasket. I recommend them. Never have any issues with these. They do a great job. The timing kit is a Chloe's, comes with new chains, new guides, tensioners, awesome kits. Um, and also, like I said, I'll be linking the video for the installation of this chain. They did a great job. There's no reason for me to go back over it. Um, they, they nail it in the video. It's fantastic. Also, recommended parts. While you're in there, you got the uh, variable valve timing solenoids, camshaft position sensors. You know, if you're doing a job like this Camaro here, you know, there is some access to these still, so you don't necessarily have to change them. I change them when I do these jobs. Um, you, you know, you don't want to have any problems down the road. Um, the access is a little easier on this car. They're up front. But if you're doing like a, you know, a Traverse or something like that, the, you know, you got to drop the subframe to get the 3.6 out of there, then, you know, you're going to want to change everything you can while you're in there to uh, make sure the customer doesn't have any problems. 
Uh, as far as these cam phasers go, uh, they generally do not fail. They're changed quite often, not necessarily needed to be done. If your engine comes in and it has bent valves, change them, change all four. Uh, it's just best to get that out of the way. You don't wanna have problems, uh, but these are fine. This engine only has 55,000 miles on it. No problems at all. The engine ran fine when it came in other than the leaking uh, head gasket. So uh, we'll be leaving ours into the car. Okay, so on to cylinder head machining. Uh, the reasons why you're gonna wanna have this done, it's very common for aluminum heads to warp and that's what causes the gaskets to leak in the first place. So you're gonna wanna go to a quality machine shop and have this thing checked out. And you know, this is a beautiful example of what they do. This thing's been all cleaned up, valve train's been gone through, valve seals have been changed. And one of the most important parts is it's been resurfaced. Uh, this surface here will accept the new gasket, it'll seal beautifully, and it'll also prevent the leaks from the corners happening again. Also, while it's apart, it's a great time to change the spark plugs, check the air filter, clean out the throttle body, uh, change the thermostat. Thermostat on this is pretty tough to get to, and it'd be a good time to change it. this video inspires you to tackle this job and complete it. As always, I'm here to help. Post any questions, add your thoughts down below. I'll answer anything I can. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.